So I firmly believe that you need to zoom in on your own life and ignore every bit of information that's coming into you that is fearful, that is, whew, what is the right word? It, it exacerbates anxiety in your life. It causes panic. It is fear propaganda, let's say. And the way that I combat that is by focusing solely on my experience, okay? Don't get this twisted. It's not a selfish thing. It's what is going on in your life. Bill Hicks has a wonderful skit on this. He's, he's watching the news and they're saying, nuclear war over here on the left and famine and disease over here. Everything's going crazy. And he looks out his window. And there's crickets chirping. You know, he does a much better impression. Please go watch his stuff. It's great. Uh, and that it, it, it paints the picture for what I'm trying to describe. How are you conducting your life such that you would counteract the negativity that's coming at you? How are you building a life that you would be proud of, that elevates your community, that makes the world a better place? Okay. And in a way, counteracts the, the negative message coming to you. If, if things are getting more expensive, the dollar is losing value, or no one can afford anything, all that. That is, I keep avoiding this word. <laughs> I'm going to use propaganda instead of the word you're going to hear it with. Because this is a family-friendly show. Uh, that is just fear propaganda. Okay. Uh, and it may be true. Times might be really tough, but what are you doing to organize your finances so that you can take care of your life, so you can take care of your family, so you can afford your lifestyle, so you can set aside for the future, so you can pay your bills. What are you doing? Are you buying things you can't afford? Well, then that fear propaganda is going to seize your mind. <laughs> it's going to exacerbate the anxiety around spending. So you can change your own personal habits and make your life better. Does that make sense? First, turn off all these things. Holy cannoli. The fear propaganda is going to seize your brain and honestly just make you angry. You're going to get angry. You're going to get sad. It's going to rob you of your peace of mind. China could invade Taiwan. Yes, they could. They absolutely, they might do all kinds of things. China might be awesome. China might be your best friend. You know, they might be real cool people too. But, but all you're going to hear is the trade wars and tariffs and maybe war. And sure, sure. Is there anything you can do to fix it or stop it or affect it in any way? I can't. I could, I could like vote, I could call my senator, all these things and be like, hey, don't poke China and invade Taiwan. I, maybe, but I don't even know how to phrase that. I don't even know what I'm saying. You know, I don't know what I'm talking about because I'm not in Taiwan or China or understand their cultures or their history. Or if this was a few hundred years ago, I might not even know they exist. <laughs> like the availability of information and the network of communication across the planet is so large right now. We're aware of things that wouldn't be on our scope of reality just a few hundred years ago. And I'm exaggerating. I mean, people knew the earth was round thousands of years ago. But that's beyond the point. The, <laughs> the point is that you have no control over this thing and you worry about this thing. And it ruins your life it ruins your your sense of calm contentment your ability to live each day because you're focused on the fear propaganda when you do have control over things you control what you eat when you go to bed you who you talk to you, there's a lot of things you do control and it it, it comes from every direction even the things I just mentioned that you have control over, right now, your brain might be putting in ideas saying things like, well, I don't have control over those things. 
I don't have control when I go to sleep. I don't have control over what I eat or I, I have to go to work or I can't pay my bills. And so I'm a slave because I have to go to my job or I'll be homeless and die. Look at how fear propaganda has, has taken your brain and even someone, me, telling you that you have agency over your life, you deny it and you go, oh, I don't have agency over my life. Even if you're right, <laughs> even if you're right, you need your job so you don't be homeless and die. It, like, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm saying you've been programmed to immediately negate something positive and beautiful because fear propaganda is constantly just taking over your mind from every source in every way okay everything the site you're on right now youtube it you could believe that youtube is the devil <laughs> and and it's a terrible thing to be a part of and, and, and like watching stuff is robbing you of your time of day I mean, there's an argument that it is. But you're looking at it in a negative way. Because fear propaganda comes in and everything has to be negative. Every little thing. And I, I firmly believe you don't have to, you don't have to be that. You don't have to be negative. You don't have to allow that fear propaganda in to taint your thinking process all the time. If YouTube is evil, then stop watching it. And you can do that, and it will make things better. Now apply that same process of thinking to every part of your life. Things are too expensive. I can't get ahead. Well, right there, you've, you've taken the agency from yourself. You've taken your ability to change that things are too expensive, that you can't get ahead. You've given that power away and made it so you never will. You never will. Rather than using your brain, the most magnificent thing on the planet, <laughs> the human brain. It's amazing. It's amazing. We've come up with all this stuff. There's not a single thing in this picture that you're seeing right now that wasn't made by a human being and thought up. We figured out those shelves and this spinny thing on the ceiling and words to describe stuff. <laughs> we figured out all that. And you have the ability in yourself to come up with really creative things to make stuff less expensive, to make yourself get ahead, to afford stuff. And even now as I'm saying this, you might be thinking like, well, I can't, oh, it's impossible. I have no time. Do you see my point? You've been robbed of the magic that makes you human because of fear propaganda. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. You can't get ahead. You're trapped. And everything is dismal and dreary and never going to get better. When did you start believing that? Who put that idea in your head? Was it you? I would highly recommend talking to someone, a friend, a therapist, someone. If that came from you, please reach out because you can live a happier life. But if it wasn't you, if fear was pumped into your brain from some other source on any topic ever, identify that and realize you could, you could go a different route. You could do something different. Think of every story we were ever told as kids, every story you've ever read or watched, the hero gets beat up, you know, they fall to the ground, they're bleeding out, everything's going terrible, and what do they do? They get up, or they try to get up. They get up and they keep fighting. And your brain has been trained to lay down and bleed out and die. And I don't want that for you. And I don't want that for me. One of the first things I did was just unplug. Go live under a rock. I have no idea what's going on in a lot of places of the world. It, with celebrities. What, the, what is that? What is a celebrity? I know my neighbors. They're pretty cool. We have them over. It's awesome. It's a great little community. And we help each other out. 
but I couldn't tell you the latest drama with whatever. Did you hear the politician said the thing? And I'm like, great. No idea what they said. Do not care. Not in the slightest. <laughs> you have the ability to make a great life. You have the ability to choose how you feel, to choose what you're doing, to work to improve the circumstances of where you are. The poorest nations on earth. People live there. And they don't just lay in the mud and go, guess this is it. No. No. They smile at each other. They make clothing and houses and they try to improve where they are with what they have. They would never say something like, I don't have any time to put a door on my hut. What are you talking about? What are you, <laughs> you can do it. You can cut out the fear propaganda. You can choose to start being creative. You can choose to take your mind and use it to make your life better, to feel better, to to improve the circumstances of your life and the lives of those around you, okay? I know that because I'm a very average person. I was raised in an average family. Uh, I come from an average background, okay? There are some extreme circumstances of those things. Yes, I grew up with less of this and more of this. Sure, sure. But if I can choose to be positive, so can you. So can you. And you can figure it out. Because I promise you're probably a lot smarter than I am. Okay? <laughs> I stumble my way through most things. Stumble. It's, it's horrible. I, I move one inch when I feel like I should move a mile. And see? See how I'm thinking negatively about the progress I make? Fear propaganda taking over, making my brain go, ah, what you did wasn't good enough. You should probably hate yourself now. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Have you ever, you ever interacted with a toddler? Okay, a toddler will be trying to color in the lines or something and they'll get really frustrated and it'll be a whole issue. But they keep trying and they get better and better and better. Eventually they can color in the lines. You never go up to the toddler and be like, yeah, you'll probably never be able to color in the lines, buddy. You'll probably, yeah, you, you suck with crayons. <laughs> like, what? What kind of monster would talk to a toddler that way? And that's the way your brain talks to you all the time. Don't do it. Don't let yourself beat yourself up anymore. Don't take in this negativity and allow it to become your default operating system in here. Be inspired by what's come before. <laughs> like I was talking about this room. There's nothing in here that's not made by another human. That's pretty amazing. And it's all mundane stuff. Like I'm getting excited about a bookshelf. <laughs> so cheer up. Love yourself. Stop paying attention to fear propaganda. And about things you know nothing about. Everything I mentioned in this video, I don't know. Jack. I don't know nothing. I could probably build a shelf, but it'd probably be real bad. I don't even know about those, okay? But I'm, I'm constantly fed this information of negativity, and then I have to have an opinion on it, and then it just continues on and on to drill us down into the dirt. So as the heroes, we never get up and keep fighting. Get up. Keep fighting. Love yourself and love each other, okay? You can do it. Take care, stay safe, thank you for watching, and have a great day, okay?